This weather terrifies me. Earlier today, I almost passed out three times. When I got back from the Edison Hotel, the power still hadn't been restored here. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I was uh, trying to make a video on the back porch and started to black out. Went inside, it was a tiny bit cooler. Was still coming close to blacking out. And uh, that was the, the first time that I came close to blacking out earlier today. And I said, I, I gotta get out of here, I gotta go to, let's go to the Walmart. So on the way to Walmart, of course, the you, as soon as you make the turn, you need to gun it so you can go to the speed of the rest of the, the people on the highway. And the crock pot felt, uh, that I forgot was in there, fell over, and covered the whole floor of the front of the van. So I went to uh, I went to Walmart and uh, was really struggling just walking into walking to, to Walmart. And then the van itself is is probably ten degrees hotter. There's no and there's the AC the condenser it, it, the condenser has a leak. So when you get it filled with Freon, it doesn't last very long. Um, that went out halfway through the trip to. Uh, oh. That's interesting. Maybe it wasn't food poisoning, maybe it was just this heat. Because I was really struggling with, with the heat at some point on the way over. Which is why I wanted to mostly drive at night. But, uh... It still it came right after that nasty croissant that tasted like Play-Doh. Anyway... Um... Once I was in Walmart, I'm gonna get some towels to cheap cheapest towels you can get and a dishpan and so I could scoop up that stuff and put it in the dishpan and uh, including the towels and, and toss it somewhere in, 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 a, in a garbage somewhere and started to black out again even once I was in Walmart of course when I when I first, the doors first opened to Walmart it's oh thank God cool air oh my god Right, but uh, still, it, it was it had already really affected me and started to black out. Okay, let's go to the let's go to the subway there. I had a cold a cold six inch sandwich and was feeling you know a little bit better. But I should have waited there a little longer before getting up because uh, by the time I got over near the towels, I was starting to black out again. And. So I went to the quickly went to the pharmacy, um, kind of with someone's help. I was, I was thankful for that person, and had to sit with my head between my knees, and I was kind of sat there for about forty minutes. Yeah, three times today I, I almost passed out from this heat, and now I'm famished again. I'm, it's a reasonable temperature in here, because just in the very next room, yeah, over in there, there's the uh, there's the air conditioner. I need to eat something. Everything in the fridge is bad now, because when the power, you know, was cut, and uh, I need to eat something. But I'm scared to go out that door. Terrified of going out that door. What would happen? What what ha what if I pass out on the road? What what if I black out while driving? I, can, I I'm having a very hard time getting acclimated to this weather. Out of anything here, out of anything I've experienced, this weather scares me the most. Certainly glad I didn't go to Georgia because I would have been in the hospital for sure.